The city of Austin wants to make sure property owners and managers aren't leaving their tenants in unsafe conditions. Thanks for joining us. I'm Daniel Marin. And I'm Britt Moreno. So it's called the Repeat Offender Program and it's been in place since 2013. But an audit in 2020 found some holes in the program's effectiveness. And now as KXN's Grace Reader explains, changes could be coming. Property managers responsibility they be like making sure you got running electricity, the right water temperature, your rod is running, uh, all the things that uh, you know said it deals with your quality of life. Marshall Mitchell said while his living situation is better now, he's just left a complex on the city of Austin's repeat offender list. And the issues it's a laundry list, man. I, I don't know where to start, man. Issues with water, water temperature. If you was fortunate enough to have any damn water at all, right? Because a lot of times that the water was shut off. The Austin Code Department's taking a look at its repeat offender program after a 2020 audit. The program's intended to make sure property owners and managers hit minimum living standards. Lights not working, to broken windows, to heating and air conditioning systems not performing adequately. A city memo released earlier this month shows the code department's proposing charging owners with larger properties more money, expanding the criteria that would qualify a property for the program, and giving new owners more time to make repairs. The next steps will be meeting with our stakeholder groups um, and also meeting with the city law department to help develop the modifications to the ordinance, and then we'll bring those changes to city council in early 2023. The memo also said groups involved, like the Tenants Council, and apartment association want the city to provide more tools so properties can get off the list faster. They also want them to do more education and outreach at those properties. For apartments that aren't meeting the basic needs of tenants, Mitchell hopes the city will find new ways to hold them responsible. We need to start doing a, a better job, start taking this job a lot more seriously because some people's lives are in their hands. Grace Reader, KXAN News. As of today, there are nearly 100 properties in the Code Offender Program. If you have an issue with your property, the city asks that you call 311. The city of Austin researched a number of cities to see examples of other rental registration programs. Of those chosen, six had a mandatory program. Almost all of those were in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Houston has one as well, and they were the only one Austin leaders found actually underwent a formal evaluation of the program to determine how it's all working. Now, the program has undergone a number of changes. The Austin Repeat Offenders Program started back in 2013. Exactly a year later, it went uh, it underwent, I should say, changes to improve it. The city said early on the process took so long to go through individual complaints. It actually made it harder to actually track those repeat offenders.